Well, welcome back to BBN Tonight. Last week, we gave you a chance to hear from the softball team as they released their schedule. Mm -hmm. Earlier today, the baseball team released the SEC schedule. So joining us now is the baseball coach, Nick Mingione. <laughs> coach, thanks for joining us. Yeah, guys, thanks for uh, thanks for having me on. Um, obviously, always excited to release our schedule and really part of it for the first time, you know, because obviously everything that's going on with all the different midweek games and things like that, trying to figure that out. But uh, appreciate you having me on. So as of right now, it's only the, the SEC schedule that's been released and not so the non-conference schedule. We'll, we'll pull up the graphic here, show some of those games. The season gets underway March 19th uh, against Missouri. Uh, just the, the overall excitement, I guess, with the season being cut so short last year and for you guys to just get back to work starting, I think you said yesterday is when you guys first got together, uh, just the excitement to get back onto the field and get this season going. Yeah, you know what? We were excited to get finally get that schedule because, as you guys know, like just going through a football season, we had just voted on getting our schedule last week. So we were still up until last week. It's kind of crazy to think we're starting in four weeks, and we just now figured out our SEC schedule. So, um, but you know, guys, things have been hard around here, as you know, mm -hmm. with the the passing of Ben Jordan. I mean, it's been a really difficult eight days, and um, no part of this has been easy. But uh, as you mentioned, it was so good to get the guys together again and to get them working on baseball because to lose a, a teammate and a brother and a friend, it's been there's a lot of hurting hearts. So I just ask for continued prayers. But uh, yesterday was definitely a good day to get them back together and doing the thing that they love is in baseball and to be around each other. Coach, when we go back and we look at that schedule, um, what is there any particular point that stands out to you? Boy, this is going to be a difficult stretch. or I mean, is it all just a difficult thing in the <laughs> SEC anyway? SEC baseball, welcome. Yeah, you know what? You, you nailed it. It's the, it's the SEC schedule. You know, we, we play 10 weekends in the SEC, and eight of those are against ranked opponents. So when you start thinking about, okay, every weekend, here you go, right? And my gut tells me those other two that aren't ranked, probably at some point they will be ranked. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like we'll go through a series and that's the beauty of our league though. That's, that's why I took this job. That's why I love being in this league. This would be my 14th year in the league now. And um, just a challenge, you know, after an SEC weekend, you just feel like you've been in a 10 to 12 round boxing match. <laughs> so, you know, just the overall competitiveness of our league once again. And Nick, uh, can you just talk about some of the guys that you have returning this year? I believe you have eight of nine uh, who are, so you got some veterans who are going to be coming back. Uh, just what can we expect to see on the field from you guys this season? Yeah, thanks for bringing it up. You know, as you think about what happened last year with our season, you know, it was cut short. You know, mm -hmm. we're in, it's in March, as all of you know. You know, we're getting ready to jump on a bus to go open up SEC play, and then the series, you know, in the season gets cut short and we don't have a season. So um, as a result, they shortened the major league draft. Mm -hmm. It used to be 40 rounds that turned into five rounds. So, you know, we have the, the luxury of having some people come back, you know? So when you start thinking about our starters, right? Like we have eight of those nine guys back and you know what, quite frankly, there's been some awesome battles this fall to where some of those may even change. Now mm -hmm. you come to the springtime. So um, that has been good just to get John Rhodes. He was a co-national freshman player of the year back. Austin Schultz was an All-American. Both those guys were All-Americans to get them back. And then, you know, Raja New and TJ Collette are just two guys that could absolutely destroy baseballs <laughs> and, uh, you know, pose a lot of fear in our opponents. So, and then it was kind of neat, you know, I mentioned TJ, but, you know, Jaron, Shelby, and Zeke Lewis decided to come back. And um, so we feel like we got some older guys and we've uh, had an opportunity even offensively to bring in some some really talented players, you know, especially defensively. And Alonzo Rubacaba, he's a catcher who can really catch and throw. And to have Ryan Ritter, a guy that's uh, slated right now to be our shortstop. And so um, that's pretty exciting. Coach, I think, too, uh, it's like 17th season in a row that you've had a Shelby on the roster. It's always good to have <laughs> one come back. Um, talk a little about the recruiting class because it was ranked uh, 25th in the country. So it gives you, a, you know, got the veteran leadership but it sounds like you got the guys that are coming in that can, can help you pretty quickly. Yeah, you know what, that, that's one thing. I, I feel like uh, our pitching staff really took a step forward. You know, Dan Rosell's in our second year as our pitching coach, and he's really done a great job with those guys. And But it's been fun to watch guys like Mason Hazelwood and Jimmy Ramsey and these guys that have been in our program, you know, like Alex Deegan, to watch all these guys just continue to grow. 
you know, we Dylan Marsh and Hunter Rigsby, you know, Cole Stubbs, Zach Lee, Cole Daniels, Trip Lockhart, Ron Cole. Like we have guys that have been in the program, and that's exciting. But we added three transfers that I think is really going to help our pitching staff. We added three guys. Zach Kameen is a D3 transfer to us. He's a grad transfer who is just an extremely talented right-handed pitcher. We got Sean Harney from, from UMass. And then we added Holt Jones from Clemson. So we feel like some of those guys we got coming back and to add some of these transfer pieces along with, you know, some really talented freshmen in Wyatt Hudipol, Seth Logue, and um, Austin Strickland. So we just feel like, you know, from a pitching standpoint, our recruiting class really addressed a lot of needs is to some of those guys I mentioned uh, offensively as well. Nick, uh, we go back to, to last year. Of course, it was tough with the COVID thing, but on the field, it was sort of hard for you guys to get things rolling a little bit. How how are you sort of taking that experience from last year of, say, the Valleys and trying to make it a peak in 2021? Yeah, you know, I, I just believe in scheduling a really tough schedule. I just, I believe that's how you get challenged. And mm -hmm. we went down to TCU, who's been with the Omaha three of the last five years. And, you know, they got us three games, but I thought our team really grew. You know, you could just start seeing some of the guys use those experiences to keep going. And we ended the year on a high note. Our pitching staff was really throwing the ball really well. We we're swinging the bat as well as we could. And we felt like we were in a really good place, you know, so to have the season cut short, that was hard for us because, you know, we were trying to redeem from the tough year we had before. And it was like, our team was just there starting to peak and then it got cut short. So this is a confident team, guys. This team really cares about each other. Um, they just, I, I, I've told Matt plenty of times, this is a high trust, low maintenance team. And they've just really gotten after it. And they're ready to go out and kind of prove what, what we can do. Coach Mangio, thanks so much for joining us. We'll hear from you in a few weeks, hopefully on that non-conference schedule. Yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate you having me on. Go Cats. All right, stick around. We have Mike Pratt coming up next on BBN Tonight.